Hello and welcome to our channel Mariner's Point. So in this video we will be discussing about centrifugal pump. As you can see the other figure. So what is centrifugal pump? It is a device uh, which is, is a device or a type of pump in which the flow through the pump is induced by centrifugal force which is then imparted to the liquid by rotation of the impeller. As you can see in the figure here in this this is the impeller, this is the outlet, this is the volute casing and this is the side view of the pump. So now moving on to the parts of the impeller. So the centrifugal pump basically consists of two main parts. The first one is rotor and the second one is casing. Now what is rotor? So rotor consists of following main components. Rotor has two main components that is the impeller and the shaft. So as we seen in the picture the impeller so the rotating blade is known as the impeller the one whose rotor rotary motion induces a centrifugal force on the fluid and the shaft so the shaft is the uh, shaft is on which the impeller is mounted like uh, on a shaft the impeller is mounted to rotate now the second part is casing so it is the stationary part or we can say it is a covering under which all the internal parts uh, remains so it uh, act as a protector from um, protector for the internal parts from the external atmosphere so what does it contain so it contains the suction port discharge port the bearings and the seal rings now here we can see the figure of a centrifugal pump so here we, we can see the shaded part this is the shaft which we are talking about and on this shaft this impeller is mounted on it so this consists of rotor part and now we can see here this this going around this so up to this this is the delivery path this is the inlet path then this is the eye of the impeller so all of the whole covering is known as the casing part right now um, uh, let us give some other details like the suction pipe is here and here we can see there is a strainer foot valve and a strainer so we'll be talking about what is the use of foot valve and strain, strainer in the next few slides and here we can see this is the delivery flange or we can see it is, it is just a connecting part to extend the outlet pipe and here is we see the outlet of the pump so uh, let us discuss the parts the volute casing the volute casing is named because of its spiral construction so um, the main purpose of volute casing is to uh, is to reduce the velocity of the fluid and to increase the pressure so um, we are using pump only to increase the pressure right so to in so the purpose of volute casing is to decrease the velocity of the fluid and convert the part of kinetic energy into pressure energy of the fluid so some of the centrifugal pump also uses diffuser in addition to the volute casing so in order to get much more higher pressure so we can see a combination of diffuser as well as the volute casing now what is the diffuser so it performs the same function as the volute casing that is converting the kinetic energy of the fluid to the pressure energy so uh, construction wise we can see that it is a uh, it consists of a ring of guide passes so that ring of guide passes what de what do they do they actually uh, they actually they actually reduces the velocity of the fluid and that reduction uh, causes the increase in pressure energy of the fluid the next component is the eye of the impeller eye is the center of the impeller right so in this uh, that is the eye of the impeller which receives inlet flow of the liquid into the veins so the inlet of the water the pump the inlet of the pump is the eye of the impeller now what we are talking as we mentioned that is suction pipe with foot valve and strainer so a pipe whose one end is connected with the inlet of the impeller and the other end is dipped into the sump of the water is called suction pipe it is a simple definition like uh, we are having a pump so the pump uh, will be uh, connected to a sump so that it can extract water from it 
so this and that is known as the suction pipe so the suction pipe consists of a foot valve and a strainer at its lower end so what is the use of having a strainer at its lower end foot valve is one way valve that opens in the upward direction so that the water does not flow back to the supply side when the pump is not in the operation so what is why it is you know, one it is automatically a one way valve but why it is uh, why it always opens in the upward direction it's because uh, the water which has been extracted from the you know, sump should not fall back in, uh, again to the sump that is why it opens upward and closes downward then the strainer is used to filter the unwanted particles present in the water to prevent the centrifugal pump from blockages so it's a simple as the strainer is used everywhere to filter out the unwanted particles so here also we are using the strainer so that the centrifugal pump don't get blocked because of the unwanted particles entering into it now comes the delivery pipe so the delivery pipe is the pipe whose one end is connected to the outlet of the pump and the other other end is connected to the required height where the water is to be delivered so we can see here the working of the centrifugal pump so this is the working of a centrifugal pump so we can see the rotation of the impeller as you can see that uh, the impeller is rotating so the rotation of the impeller forces the liquid to move outward from the center to beyond circumference of the impeller so this rotation of the impeller causes the liquid to move across the circumference of the impeller to the boundary or the to the volute casing so this uh, this movement of water from center to the circumference of the impeller causes a sudden drop of pressure at the eye of the impeller eye is the center part of the impeller so centrifugal forces centrifugal force forces the water to move towards casing right and then because of this increase in area uh, as mentioned uh, in the previous slides that the volute casing and diffuser the their main purpose is to decrease the velocity and increase the pressure so uh, as the increase in area velocity drops and the pressure increases so with the as the pressure increases water gets discharged at high pressure through the outlet pipe so through the outlet pipe here we can see the discharge pressure is very high so to read more about it in the detail so we, you can visit to our channel mariners.in or you can visit our website mariners.in thank you for listening